The show starts with Shang, a rich CEO of Shang Corporation, and his wife Yulan fighting with each other. Shang is a very possessive man who tells Yulan that the only reason he married her was due to his grandpa's suicide threats. It's revealed that Shang had an affair with Yulan's half-sister two years ago. He accuses her of scheming in order to get him to marry her. Otherwise, he would have been happily married to her younger sister, Yi Yi. It turns out that Yulan had a crush on him since she was a child, but now she is tired of Shang's emotional as well as physical abuse, so she tells him that she wants a divorce. It's good news for Shang, as he intends to be with Yi Yi after the divorce. In the next scene, Yulan talks about her marriage to a friend. During their conversation, we learn that Shang believes that Yulan plotted an incident at a hotel two years ago, where the pair was approached by a crowd of reporters, asking them if they were getting married soon. Since they were found sleeping on the same bed, Shang is forced to say that they were indeed tying the knot. Had he declined, it would have affected his family's reputation. This is the reason why Shang always accuses Yulan of manipulating him into marrying her. The fact that she had a crush on him for 11 years only makes him believe that she planned the hotel scandal two years ago. However, when Yulan returns to her parents' home that day, she finally learns the truth. It turns out that her half-sister Yi was the one who set him up in the hotel with the reporters. Apparently, she did this to get Yulan's share that her deceased mother had left in her will. And now that Yi Yi has managed to legally snatch away those shares from Yulan, she also wants to ruin her marriage with Shang. Yulan is shocked to learn the truth, as she hadn't expected that her own family would go this far to destroy her life. She then walks out of the house in a stupor. She then arrives on a rooftop of a building, as she realizes that the man she loves despises her, and her family is trying to frame her. She wonders if life is worth living at all. As she hopelessly stands at the edge of the building, contemplating her life, she suddenly gets a call from Shang, who asks her about some divorce papers. Hearing his voice, Yulan decides not to divorce him. Instead, she wants to be his wife for the rest of her life, even if it means to rot in the position of Mrs. Shang. She's decided to get back at her half-sister Yi Yi, and she will never let her have him. Shang claims that Yulan is just messing with his head before hanging up. Right after, he gets a call from Yi Yi, inviting him for dinner in an Italian restaurant, as it's her birthday. Yi also texts Yulan, demanding that she come to the same place later at 8. Otherwise, there would be consequences. The next scene shows Yulan arriving at the said location, where she sees her husband and her half-sister having a romantic dinner together. She approaches them angrily and tells Yi that she is enjoying dinner on her and Shang's dime, so she should be ashamed. Yulan then grabs a glass of wine and throws it over Yi, telling her that she knows about her assets being stolen by her. The evil half-sister yells at her, asking her what she's doing. Yulan tells her that her wish is fulfilled, since Yi had clearly just called her there to provoke her. Seeing their catfight, Shang asks Yulan to apologize to Yi. When our heroine refuses to do so, he drags her outside to the car and speeds up the vehicle. Yulan freaks out, thinking he's going to crash the car, but Shang soon stops the vehicle on the side of the road and starts to forcefully kiss her. Yulan is disgusted and tells him to sleep with the woman he loves instead of torturing her. Suddenly, Shang gets a call from the hospital. It's Yi Yi. He then throws Yulan out of the car and rushes to the hospital, where he learns that Yi Yi returned home sobbing and locked herself in her room. According to her parents, that evening, Shang had told her that they can't be together anymore. Therefore, she attempted to end herself. Yi Yi's father, who is also Yulan's father, then tells Shang that he shouldn't be harsh with Yi Yi. After all, she had almost lost her life while saving him during an earthquake. In the meantime, Yulan learns that she's pregnant with Shang's child. For a second, she thinks of raising the child without the involvement of Shang. However, since she grew up in an environment without familial love, she decides not to let her child face the same situation. Cut to the next scene, Yulan prepares a wholesome dinner at home, and she decides to tell her husband the big news. However, when she calls him, he tells her that he cannot make it home that night because Yi Yi is still admitted to the hospital. Yulan knows better. Yi is just pulling a stunt to get Shang's attention, so she threatens to remove Yi Yi's oxygen mask if he doesn't make it home soon. A while later, Shang arrives home and tells her that he's just there to change his clothes. Yulan tells him that she has big news, but he couldn't care any less. She even begs him to stay, mentioning that the news is very important for both of them, but Shang, having changed his clothes, walks away from her. In the next scene, Yulan rushes to the hospital and asks the receptionist for Yi Yi's room number. Just then, she comes across Dr. Dan, who is her friend's brother. It's revealed that Dan likes Yulan. However, she tells him that she's in a hurry and will contact him later. Yulan frantically arrives at Yi Yi's room. Shang, her father, and her stepmother are already there. She then tells Shang to return home with her, as there is already other caretakers for Yi Yi. However, he refuses to leave Yi Yi's side and tells Yulan that he is divorcing her soon. Once it's finalized, he will marry Yi Yi. Yulan has had enough and tells Yi Yi to cut the act. Suddenly, her father slaps her on the face, claiming that she was never his daughter. 
With this, our poor heroine realizes that her own family is her enemy. She then finally speaks up and reveals to Shang that the three of them, Yi Yi, her equally cruel stepmother, and her father, were actually the ones behind the scandal that took place two years ago. She goes on to expose the truth. It turns out that Yulan's biological mother always knew about her daughter's big crush on Shang. Therefore, before she passed away, she stated in her will that if Yulan stays married to Shang for two years, her shares will automatically go to Yi Yi. Her mother thought that they would end up having kids during those two years, so she was sure that they wouldn't split up. However, Yi and her stepmother made a plan to set up Shang and Yulan in the hotel room with the reporters. In order to save his grandfather's reputation, Shang was forced to marry Yulan. And now that Yulan and Shang are married for two years, Yi Yi has managed to transfer all the shares to her name, leaving poor Yulan with nothing but emotional pain. Also, Shang always tortured Yulan because he thought she was the reason why he never got married to the woman he loved. But now, he finally knows the bitter truth. Yi Yi, the woman he loved and her evil parents, went to great lengths to set him up and get his money. Suddenly, Yulan starts bleeding on the floor. Shang asks what's wrong with her, but Yulan crumples up, clenching her stomach in pain. Shang then rushes her to a doctor. Dan arrives at the scene and he takes her to the emergency room. He knows about their relationship and how Shang has always mistreated Yulan. He then tells Shang that being with him is Yulan's biggest threat. Next, Yulan's condition becomes critical and she has to undergo surgery. She tells Dan to save her baby right before falling unconscious. While Yulan is being treated inside, Shang wonders what he has done. Filled with guilt, he looks at his hands, smeared with Yulan's blood from earlier. He is then called upon to the reception to sign some medical papers, which mention that Yulan may lose her ability to have children. Shang signs it upright, telling the receptionist that as long as she is safe, he is willing to do anything. Just then, Yi's mother arrives at the scene, urging Shang to go visit Yi Yi. However, Shang has had enough of their lies and drama, so he promises that he will get back at them for setting him up and creating the misunderstanding between him and Yulan. Next, the doctor, Dan, informs Shang that Yulan needs a blood transfusion, but the hospital currently doesn't have her blood type. Yi Yi suddenly appears and tells them that she and Yulan share the same blood type. She is willing to donate her blood, but on one condition. Shang has to divorce Yulan as soon as possible. Desperate, Shang agrees with the condition. Thankfully, Yulan regains consciousness four days later, but the vicious Yi hasn't had enough of provoking her. She tells her poor heroine that they couldn't save her baby. Understandably, Yulan is devastated. Dan arrives at the scene and chews away Yi. He then reveals to Yulan that she actually had twins. Although they weren't able to save one baby, they managed to save the other. Yulan sighs with relief and soppingly asks Dan to take her away from her cruel family for good. She doesn't want to live in the same city as them anymore. Dan promises he will take her away so she can live a happier life. Fast forward to a month later. Shang appears to have a search team working to find Yulan, who cut off contact a month ago. He is starting to feel her absence, the way she always used to cook for him and waited for him till late. He also reminisces about the time they spent together as children. Fast forward another two years. Shang visits his grandpa's place and updates him on the company's recent financial situation. Grandpa asks Shang what his plans are, now that he has been divorced for a while. Shang tells him that he can handle his own matters, but Grandpa brings up the fact that their company stock dropped to an all-time low ever since the news of Shang's divorce. Additionally, Grandpa is worried since Shang didn't have any children and there is no one next in line. This is a very good opportunity for Shang's cousins, who have been eyeing his position. Shang is unbothered as he continues to think about Yulan's sudden disappearance. He leaves his grandpa's place telling him that he will come up with something to get the stock price back on track again. The next day, Shang remembers that Yulan used to visit Leyland's garden, the place where her mother's ashes are buried. He drives up to the garden and sees a box full of letters, which Yulan wrote to her mother every month, even after her death. In the letters, Yulan mentions how she fell in love with Shang from the very beginning. She also mentions the earthquake incident where she barehandedly saved Shang by digging him out from the debris when the earthquake hit their city. The incident nearly killed her, but thankfully, she managed to save him. However, when she regained consciousness, Yi and her cunning mother managed to lie to Shang that it was actually Yi who had saved him from the dreadful incident, and ever since then, Shang had dated Yi. When Shang learns about all this through Yulan's letters, he is shattered to the core. He finally realizes how badly he treated Yulan. He then decides that he must find her at all costs. He has his friend Quan use every resource to find Yulan. After searching for a while, Quan informs Shang that Yulan and Dan moved to New Zealand, where they changed their identities. Much to his surprise, Yulan has a two-year-old son. Quan asks Shang to brace himself as he found something more about Yulan. According to a news report, Yulan and her son passed away in a recent car accident, and her ashes are spread over the river. Shang is devastated as he was just realizing his love for Yulan. 
He then goes by the river to feel her presence one last time. Suddenly, he sees Yulan and her son, who are supposed to be dead. When Dan also arrives at the scene, Shang is told that the news of their death was fake. He then confronts Yulan, asking why she left him without saying goodbye. Dan tells him to leave them alone after all he's done to Yulan. A fistfight soon ensues between the boys when Shang continues to plead with Yulan. Dan lands a good blow on Shang and leaves him on the floor. He then grabs Yulan's hand and leaves the scene. However, Shang continues to pursue Yulan and asks for her forgiveness. The following day, he approaches her and begs for another chance. Yulan keeps on rejecting him, therefore Shang tells her that he will make Dan's life miserable if she doesn't come back to him. Shang reveals that Dan illegally made a trust fund for Yulan so he can report him for it and let him rot in prison for the crime. Left with no choice, Yulan decides to move back to his place in exchange for keeping Dan out of their personal issues. In the meantime, Yi, having learned that Yulan is still alive and has moved back with Shang, visits Dan at the hospital. It turns out that Dan had schemed with Yi Yi so that both of them could be together with their respective loves, Dan with Yulan and Yi Yi with Shang. We learn that Dan was the one who lied to Yi Yi, that Yulan miscarried and is infertile. Yi Yi then informs Shang's grandpa, which in a way, forced Shang to divorce our poor heroine. Over the next few weeks, Shang tries his best to make it up to Yulan. He cares for her son and spends most of the time with him. Yulan slowly starts to believe Shang has changed for real. One day, Shang's grandpa learns of Yulan and her son, so he visits them. He is suspicious, but believes that the kid's father is most probably Shang. Therefore, he secretly pulls out a hair from the kid and has it sent for a DNA test. His intuition turns out to be correct when the DNA results show that the kid is indeed Shang's son. When Shang learns of this, his happiness knows no bounds. From now on, he promises to take care of Yulan and their son for the rest of his life. Yi, however, doesn't take the news well. In fact, she goes crazy and kidnaps Yulan's son. In the next scene, Yulan, Shang, and his friend Quan arrive at an abandoned warehouse where a psychotic Yi Yi is keeping the kid. Yulan sobbingly begs Yi Yi to let go of her kid and tells her that she will move far away from her. In the meantime, Quan slips into the back door and manages to overpower Yi Yi from behind. Thankfully, Yulan has her kid back. Shang then tells the crazy woman that she cannot trick someone into loving her. He also makes it clear that the love of his life is Yulan, and it always has been. Yi Yi is then reported to the police. In the final scene, Shang formally proposes to Yulan. He apologizes to her and promises to be a good husband to her and a caring father to their son. Yulan tearfully accepts him as he puts a ring on her finger. The series ends with Yulan, Shang, and their son living happily ever after.